Now let's talk about Gulp task. So what are these Gulp tasks? These are defined and implemented in Microsoft SP Build Core Task NPM packages. What you can do is that if you want to see that what all task Gulp provides. So what we can do is let's open the Node.js command prompt. And what I can write over here is gulp t and it will show me all the gulp task. It is saying that it is not found, no problem. Try running npm stall, okay, no problem at all. It's not showing over here because npm is not installed. We can see it later when we are doing the project. So Gulp task, what are the different tasks it provides? It provides you clean, build, default, bundle, and all these tasks which we can use. The yesterday we saw one of these tasks, if you people remember, we used Gulp serve. The third last one, as you can see on the screen, Gulp serve. So what it do is that it builds and bundle the project and run the development server. So it is just like a, you can say task runner for us, which allows us to run our project or, and develop, uh, and it acts like a development server, just like we had IIS server. So once the server is running, the assets can be served from here. Just like that, we have Gulp serve, which allows us to run, it runs the development server. So we use this command at the same time, we will see today that what is this trust dev cert? The second last one, trust dev cert, it generates and trust a development certificate if one is not already present. What happens is that our application is running in HTTPS. Okay. And we are our lo local workbench and all the assets should be served in HTTPS mode only. So you have to run uh, this Gulp trust dev cert which generates and trust a development certificate once if it is already not installed or you can say uh, I will say that this developer certificate has to be installed only once in your development environment. So we will run this command gulp trust dev cert only once in the development environment uh, and after that you can skip this step if I've already executed it. So you don't have to run this command again and again only once we will use this gulp trust dev cert. Most of the time we will be using this uh, serve command gulp serve to run the solution because it acts like a development server. Now one more command I want to show uh, you or tell you something about clean. This is very important gulp clean. How we use it gulp clean. I will show you that also. That how, what is the purpose of this gulp, gulp clean? Generally what happens that uh, because of the caching browser caching what happens is that your changes doesn't get reflected on the browser immediately. You can say probably after a few minutes, they start showing up. But since we get worried that why my changes are not showing up on, uh, you can say the browser. So generally what we do is that before running Gulp serve, you can run Gulp clean. I repeat before running Gulp serve for your project and solution, you can uh, run the command Gulp space clean, which will delete uh, all the SharePoint framework build folders and intermediate SAS files in the source folder. And it will again build it when you will do gulp serve. Okay. 